Why are we doing this again? <laughs> Don't ask questions. I just follow orders. Until it says lay out a line of scrap metal, we lay out a line of scrap metal. Then we go home, get some grub, do some flexing. Oh, yeah. And then enjoy the rest of our evening. See? Knowing what was going on, we'll just get in the way of that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess you're right. themselves in a screwy situation. But what of the insectables? Will they be able to better navigate the rules of attraction? <laughs> so, that's why I can't be seen by the driveway anymore. After that, I dated Chelsea, and oh boy, was her shell round. You could bounce acorns off it. That's what you find attractive. For me, it's all about a fluff thorax. A thorax is all well and good, but give me two long antenna any day. Hey, guys, I found a metal, uh, circle. Is this a shrinkinated part? No, I don't think so. But hold on to it anyway. Gramps can probably use it for something. Huh? Huh, a screw. I bet Gramps could use this too. Uh, does anyone else think it's strange that all this stuff seems to be, you know, laid out in a straight line? Nah, stop being so paranoid, Sid. And please, long antenna? <laughs> you know what the most attractive thing about a person is? Looking like me. As if. What? Wow! Willow? Oh, very funny, Willow. Admit it, I'm gorgeous. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chowser, I thought you liked my jokes. Oh, come on, Sid. You're flying away, too? No, genius. I can't fly. Wait, he's right. Huh? What the? Whoa. Insectables. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, most of them. What do you mean, most of them? <laughs> well, you know, uh, the, the really stinky, puny looking one sort of, you know, it, he escaped. Oh, of course he did. He always escapes. Where are the others now? Well, they're still in the yard. <laughs> we knew you'd want to know right away when they were captured, so <laughs> here we are. <laughs> you mean you, you left them unguarded? What do I pay you for? <laughs> oh, well, you know, you don't pay us. Uh, do, you, do you get paid? Shut up! You go out there and bring me those three insectables at once and try not to lose any this time. Ooh, and where those three insectables go, Zack and Kramps are sure to follow. <laughs> <laughs> 
great. They're coming back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's try this again. One last time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice try. Maybe next time. <laughs> I don't know what she was so mad about. I mean, they're still here. It's the perfect insectables trap. <laughs> yeah, but how does it work? Our job is to bring them back to the tower, not figure out the mysteries of the universe. <laughs> what are we, scientists? <laughs> yeah. Next stop, Attila. <laughs> hey, maybe we should start charging for rides. You know, I could wear a hat or something. <laughs> Uh, all right, what's your plan when we get to my plan? I thought you had a plan. Oh, well, uh, no. You seemed like you had a plan when you... Uh, first, we need to slow them down. All right, well, now would be a good time to come up with a plan. I'm on it. Welcome to the party, Gramps. I didn't think we'd catch this one. There's no way a dealer could stay mad at us now. Of all the days to forget about the metal plate in my head. Huh? Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, fudge. <laughs> Well, that didn't go according to plan. How's this for a plan? Next time, make a plan! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. We have to get off this thing. If Adila gets us, she'll beat us. She'll torture us. She might even make us do homework. What do you know about homework? Nothing. But the way you talk about it, I figure it must be worse than torture. You can't argue with that logic. Hmm. There's a chance I can tweak your arm to emit a depolarizing pulse. Hold still, kid. Behold! Strange. That should have worked. Uh, color me surprised. Chicago. <laughs> Insectables. How uh, can I see? Gramps, if you've got any other ideas, you know, working ones, now would be the time. There has to be a way to reverse the magnetic field. I wonder. Uh, I don't get paid enough for this. Come on, you get paid too? <laughs> okay. I know we're in mortal danger and all, but that was awesome! Science 101, Zack. If you whack a magnet hard enough, you can reverse its polarity. Well, at least there weren't any strange side effects. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. You were saying? Can you please get your hand out of my face? Well, get your butt off of my head! That's not my butt, that's Chow's butt! What about my butt? Whose foot is this? Uh, talk about too close for comfort. Hit them! Incoming! Sid, move it! Another Zack plan. Coming through! Get out of my way! Look out! What's all that commotion? Is that the insectables? And the 
the magnet! Those goons brought the magnet back here! Okay, everyone! Wait for impact! Huh? <laughs> what the? Don't just stand there! Come help me! Your Highness, oh, they're coming! Oh, hang on. Your Highness, oh, they're coming! <laughs> well, smother me in salt! A plan that actually works! Oh, I need a massage. I need a chiropractor. What are you all complaining about? Today's adventure was a fascinating lesson in magnetic attraction. Attraction? That reminds me. Did I ever tell you about the Beetle Twins? Talk about seeing double. Ha <laughs> Sit, old boy! You're a genius! The team actually believed I had to bail on the mission so I could visit my sick grandmother. Ha! <laughs> What have I done? It looks like Sid's decision has led to a collision. Will his plan to skip work expose him as a liar? Or will Sid's day of vacation be one of devastation? Of all the selfish, pig-headed, irresponsible schemes anyone's pulled, Sid, this takes the cake. I didn't take anyone's cake. No, you abandoned your team. And then you injured Cliff, the mail carrier. Oh, so sorry, Cliff. It was an accident. It's okay, Sid. Accidents happen. Last week, I took a wrong turn and walked up the business end of a skunk. Ew. That's what my wife said. <laughs> but Sid, no hard feelings. I just need to figure out how to deliver today's packages. Uh, don't worry, Cliff. I'm sure Sid knows just the person to fill in for you. Don't you, Sid? Or uh, Zach? No. We're all. No. Chowser. No! They're all busy doing their jobs, unlike some of us. Huh. Fine, Cliff. I'd be happy to deliver your packages for you. That's great, Sid. They're right over there. What? How am I supposed to carry all of those? I mean, I'd use my huge muscular arms, but to... Leave that to me. Oh, <laughs> not bad, Gramps. So, uh, how long is Cliff gonna be, uh, out of commission? He should be back on his feet, uh, Thursday. So tomorrow? No, Sid. Tomorrow is Wednesday. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. I tend to mix up dates after I've, uh, been in a collision. Get some rest, Cliff. I haven't even told you where the other package is There's no time! Sid, remember! Special delivery. Oh, well, hello, stranger. Stranger? Oh, not for long, I hope. I'm Sid, and you're stunning. <laughs> Otherwise known as Rebecca. What brings this slimy smoothie like you to a sleepy corner like this? Sid? Love. And uh, what better way to express my love than. Well, actually, it's a... It's a romantic move, Romeo. And you built this whole box get-up for the sole purpose of making sure your gift got to me safely? Ah, <laughs> you said it. Nothing's too good for you, Becca, baby. A hammer? <laughs> Ah, that, that's right, a hammer. Well, what better object to uh, symbolize the uh, strength and power of my feelings for you? So how about a date? <laughs> Silly. Well, how can I say no after such an unusual gift? Oh, great. So, uh, Zen Garden tonight, uh, sunset? I'll be there with Belson. <laughs> and also this hammer. 
be tired because you've been running through my mind all day. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, swing by to, uh, you know, gaze into those beautiful eyes of yours. Sid, you don't need to keep wooing me. I already said I'd go out with you, remember? A doll! Do I look like the kind of girl that likes dolls? A doll? That's not a doll. That's a, 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 a sparring dummy. Yeah, that's it. Go ahead. Give it a punch. Hey, that's not bad. Thanks, Sid. Whatever you say, sweet fang. See you in two days for our date. <laughs> Did he say in two days? Nah, I can have. Her date's tonight. Which reminds me, I should finish my workout and get ready. Oh, where is Cliff with that doll from my niece? Green package, it's in the green package. Oh, she's gonna be mad, gonna be mad, gonna be mad. Uh, hello. <gasps> You're not Cliff. Or are you? Cliff, little wizard, turn you into a snail. <laughs> oh, yeah, what a great sense of humor. Hi, I'm uh, Sid. Sid? Whoa, no, no, it's just something I threw together to do this. Uh, what are you doing? I'm gonna see if it's sticking. They're out to get me, you know. Uh, a hat? Why? There's something wrong with my head. Are they trying to scare my brain? Uh, no, I, I, I made this hat just for you. Uh, it uh, prevents anyone from reading your mind. Yeah, yeah, that's it. No, oh, thank you, Sid. I love it. Now the bugs <laughs> oh, Why do I always fall the crazy ones? <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. Say, this is uh, probably a terrible idea, but uh, how about a date? <laughs> Tuesday night in the uh, Zen Garden? Hmm. Oh boy, that's it. See you too. What's that, Jorge? You're right. Tuesday night is right. Well, I'm gonna get ready. Three dates in one week. I just set a personal record. Just call me Snail Nova. Huh? <laughs> what now? I have a date to get to. Hmm. What would Cliff do? Now, Sid, if your packages fall out and you have a date to get to, don't worry about it. Just leave them on the ground. Your love life is way more important than delivering the mail. Cliff's right. I've got a date to get to. Supposed to meet a, a date? Uh, <laughs> what are you all doing here? I was uh, supposed to have a date with. Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, girls, don't. 
Respect for the hardworking ants and termites of the postal service. <sighs> Happy? Looks like you're getting the hang of this, Sid. How'd you like to fill in for me again? <laughs> thanks, but no thanks, Cliff. I think I'll stick to perilous run-ins with Adilla and her giant posse of ruthless goons. Really? Oh, you bet. It's a lot safer than delivering mail. Sounds delicious. I'm getting hungry. And I'm sure a willow playing detective is going to serve up a feast of delectable problems. <laughs> Sure, in a minute, Willow. There 
there's something I gotta say first. One of our team has been moonlighting with an extracurricular activity that's really hurting the team and it's just gotta stop. Sid, this whole speed dating thing is getting out of control. You're never around. Well, yeah, it takes a lot of time. It's snail speed dating. Snails. This is serious, people. The Shrinkinator's important. The whole team has just got to stay focused on our work. No exceptions. OK, Willow, what did you want to tell everybody? Uh, nothing. No big deal. What was I going to do now? I made up my mind. I would give up the whole detecting game. But then he walked through my door. One case I just had to take. The case... Except... I'll take the kid! I was on the trail of that river quicker than a termite heading to a wood convention. Picking up the word on the street. Whispers in the yard. In music, I followed me. It took a lot of watching. And a lot of time. A lot of time. Willow. It's her week to wash the dishes. They're piling up and I'm hungry. Chowser, you never use dishes. <laughs> All right, I forgot. <laughs> Weird, though. It's not like Willow to be shirking her duties. <gasps> you don't think she's in some kind of trouble, do you? Ah, uh, probably. Oh, no, she's in trouble. No! Uh, calm down, everybody. I'm sure she's fine. But I tell you what. We'll hire that new detective everyone is talking about, just to make sure. I was in my office one morning reading my thank you mail, when suddenly a disaster struck. Mr. Great Detective, uh, we have this friend, Willow, and we're worried about her. Think you could find out why she's not home much anymore? Oh, uh, I think that, I mean, Mr. Human Guy I've never met. I'll track down this, uh, what's her name? Willow? Uh, Willow! Right, Willow. I'll track her down. Rick Singham always gets this man. <laughs> Even if that man's a girl who's lost. Do you get the idea? I like that detective. Yeah, seems cool. If anybody can find out what's going on with Willow, that detective sure can. I can feel it. Excuse me. Have you seen this? It's my sugar treasure. Have you seen it? It's been stolen. My prize possession. Oh, no. Sorry, haven't. Excuse me, ladies. Have you seen this? Sheesh, this neighborhood's getting pretty rough. Yeah, it's enough to make a guy want to hide in his shell all day and take a nap. That's what you do every day. This was bad. I had to find some way to let my friends know I was okay without giving away my secret identity. So, <clears throat> you see, Willow is mine. I've been trailing her, and, uh... She murdered someone! I fell off a cliff! Everybody! No, wait, that's me. No, 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 Willow's fine. Um, in fact, she's great. She's been missing all the time because uh, she's taking some personal time. Harmless relaxing. Nothing suspicious at all. You know, um, harmless stuff. Uh, extremely harmless and relaxing activities. Like, um, an old age yetsu massage from the dentist. Napping on a lily pad. Everything's cool as a cucumber. Don't worry. Okay? Okay. Right now. That ought to ease their minds. No, 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 no! Chiaotu Zack! Nothing! Willow! Yeah, 
how Willow needed to relax for the first time in her life? If I was looking for evidence that the world was ending, oh, this be it. Well, I don't know about the end of the world, but Willow's got to be in some heavy trouble. We better keep an eye on her. I still had to find that sugar. I had a fresh lead. Some rumors I heard around the trash can that I just had to follow. Come in here. There's got to be an explanation for this. After him! Nice job, Silver Sugar. Let me get us put it up. Took me a few days and nights to crank you boys down. Days up. Hand it over. And sugar. He did it. What? Oh, you're the sugar thief. How dare you? Are you running some crazy crime ring here? This is not going well. Gotta at least get the sugar back to that ant. After him. Wretched insectables, and you? Well, you get back your popularity. Oh, trust me, Honeyflower. <laughs> it's a win win. And you're positive you can capture that wormy green thing? Oh, I'll succeed. No male caterpillar alive can resist the charms of Peggy. <laughs> oh, how delightful! <laughs> What's this? Is poor Chowser about to lose his freedom? And his heart? <laughs> Will there be anything left of the doughy dolt when they're all done? Ooh, let's see how it all comes out. <laughs> Ha 
Thanks for covering for me with that whole ant situation, Zach. No sweat. We got a part, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Sorry I ate those holes in the cheese you were supposed to give them in the trade. <laughs> eh, so now they think they got Swiss cheese. Uh, but next time, Chowser. <gasps> Chowser? Chowser? Chowser, buddy? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, oh you're alive. Uh, oh, my head. What happened? Was it the cheese? <gasps> she happened. Huh? A girl caterpillar? <laughs> A girl caterpillar? Really, Zach? She's the most beautiful girl caterpillar that has ever wriggled the earth. Hey, big green and shiny. Ah! Huh? Uh, Chowser? Uh, be right back. Chowser, what's the problem? I think she likes you. Me? I'm not fit to comb her eyelashes! <gasps> be cool, Chowser. She must like you. <laughs> Why? Well, you're acting like a psycho, and she's still here. <laughs> Oh, uh, you make a good point. Look, you're my buddy. I'll help you out. Really? You know how? Uh, well, no, but I watch a lot of music videos. It's easy. Cool. Hmm. <laughs> oh, hi, big guy. <laughs> huh? Just say hi. Hi? Hi? That. Ask her if she wants to go eat with you. Like what? Uh, berries. Uh, yeah, there's some at the shed. I've got to get this part back to Gramps anyway. Uh, I'll be back in a flash with some berries. Zach! Don't go! I can't do this alone! <laughs> sure you can. You're an insectable. Do us proud. I will! I'll do us proud. So... <gasps> so... what? So where have you been all my life? I... 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 <laughs> oh. Oh. Or we can just do it this way. from hunger, so, uh, so I, I dragged you to a berry bush. Wow! A berry bush? Tell me you like berries as much as I do. <laughs> Even more. Oh, oh, have you ever just rolled around in a big, squishy pile of them? Oh, all the time. <laughs> oh, it's the best. <laughs> but, you know, the berries are so terribly high for my little peggy-waggy leggies. <laughs> they haven't made a berry I can't get to. Fly with me! Chowser, you're magnificent! Is that a speed things up? Yeah! Wait, what? Uh, uh, you're making my heart speed right up. Fly higher! You got it, Piggy Wiggy! <laughs> 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 Whoa! Higher, big boy! Higher! <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
I guess he won't need these. Oh, my work here is done. <laughs> Fly that way. Whoa, but what about the berries? Forget the berries. Fly that way. Towards the uh, sunset, my sweet. What? What sunset? It's noon. We will make our own sunset. Fly. You got it, Peggy Wiggy. <laughs> hey, do you smell something? <gasps> You're overheating! <laughs> I know! No, not that! Your engine! Huh? <laughs> Them crash? No! <laughs> hey, she's the boss. <laughs> huh. Who knew? It's always the quiet, hungry ones. <gasps> 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 his mind. Now let's carry the sack of stupid... Peggy! <gasps> You're okay? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty amazing. Not even a scratch. Whoa, whoa! Everything checks out. Well, isn't this great, Peggy? No, it's not great. What? <sighs> what? Uh, what are you talking about? Handing you over to Adila and her goons, you fool. Was it something I said? No, it's something you are. I used to be the most popular caterpillar in this yard. Everyone talked about me and nobody else. They liked me best. And why not? I'm beautiful. And then <laughs> you showed up with those fancy bionics. And now all the caterpillars talk about is you. Oh, really? <laughs> what do they say? Oh, none of your business! This isn't about you, it's about me. I made a deal with Adila. I give her you, and she gives me back my popularity. Date over, lady. You leave him alone! Hey, buddy, are you all right? Oh, I can't believe she tricked me. I hear you, buddy. But hey, let's get out of here and go grab some berries. Great, because I was getting hungry. Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> We're here to help you crash! What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adila said you were crashing and we should help. So, should we, like, you know, smash you to the ground? Huh? No! You idiots! I'm working here! You. You. Chowser, time to put this whole either. situation I in swear. reverse. Woohoo! Huh? <laughs> Let's wrap it up, Chowser! With pleasure! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Official Peggy, I'm breaking up with you. Oh, you told her, Chowser. Yeah, let's beat it. Chowser, I, I don't know what came over me. I love you. Really? We can get past this. Oh, go ahead. Fly away. I'll be back. This is not the end of Peggy. No. Word. Hey, are you gonna be okay, Chowser? Well, it was sad Peggy turned out to be a soul-crushing monster. <laughs> but hey, it wasn't all bad. Really? Like how? I found a new berry bush. Well, <laughs> we'll always have berries. <laughs> right, Chows? Absolutely, Zack. Previously on the insect. <gasps> Ah, our food! Who? Who took our food? What's going on? Why is everyone avoiding us? <laughs> really? You know why? You 
guys have been robbing this village blind. It's like there's evil doubles of us out there committing crimes in our name. It was you. You're the ones who've been pretending to be us. Simmer down. I think I know how to settle this. We're going to hold a competition. Two teams enter and one team leaves. So, the Insectables have finally met their match. <laughs> and now it's a contest to pit skill against luck. Real against fake. Who will win? <laughs> Right. Whichever team is victorious will be declared the real Insectables. And the other team... Well, they'll have to answer to us. You will be judged on three categories. Style, poise, and effectiveness. <laughs> Let the games begin! No problem. We got this one in the bag. You think so? Of course. These are carnival games. I play them every year at the state fair. Ooh. Last year, I even won a stuffed pink unicorn with a glittery mane. Well, aren't you adorable? His name was Bruiser. For this first task, whoever can knock the most acorns off with this pebble wins. <laughs> Watch and learn. you had a face like mine. Do it, Willow! So it's up to us, as usual. Oh, boy. Go, Sid! Go, Insecto Insectables! Go, Sid! Rum, 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 rum. The first snail to complete ten laps wins. Yeah, piece of cake. <laughs> I'm too quick for you. On your marks. <laughs> Get set! You can do it! Do us! Go! You can do it! We can do it! Come Let's on! Come on! Go! Go! Go on, Sid! Go! Oh, not 
good. Fish. Are you okay? Watch your step, snail boy. <laughs> good one. What? I like a good crash. <laughs> <laughs> We're dead. Huh? Okay, this is our last test. The eating contest. Um, now since all our food was stolen, whoever eats the most dirt in 10 seconds wins! Uh... And begin! Go, Go treasure! You can do it! Yeah. You got it, buddy! You're a lead! Gotta be kidding me. You mean I ate all that dirt for nothing? It wasn't even fresh! But they cheated! Aw, don't be a sore loser, fake sack. Let this be a lesson to you. You can't beat the real insectables. So what do you say, guys? What should we do with these frauds? Run! Convened and <laughs> well, we may have been wrong about you. Yeah, sorry guys. They're even better than the real insectables. Uh, Jonathan, these are the real insectables. Oh, right. <laughs> of course they are. Boy, uh, we sure shot that bird. Yeah, yeah. He, he took one look at us. Headed for the hills. That'll teach him to mess with the insectoids. <laughs> Uh, 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 insectable. 
species to plant their food flag owns the food. That's how it works in the insect kingdom. Rookie. Guys, let's go! Come on! Keep your eyes peeled! Everyone with six or eight legs has smelled that pizza! Ah, uh, when pizza comes, people will do anything for a slice. And in the insect realm, anything means anything! <laughs> the Insectables are having a pizza party today! If it's the last thing I do! Tell me about the pizza again, Zach! It's big, round, with a crispy crust covered in tomato sauce. What the? Oh, gross! Chowser! Sorry, sorry! Just describing it makes me want to eat a lot. Rams! Chowser! A little help here? Crazy Fred! Sorry, Insectables, but it's my mission to majestically plant the Fred flag in those delicious layers of crust. Tomato sauce, cheese, and and pepperoni. Pepperoni! Yeah! Oh no! This is not good. Zach, go after the pizza. We're not out of the game yet. Okay, if you're sure. Let's go, guys. <laughs> oh great! The Bozo Brothers. <laughs> Incoming! humans ever created. The true food of the gods. They call it pizza. Go, Lydia. Get the pizza for mother. Oh, and you, of course. Consider this 
flag planted. <laughs> now for the fun part. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't. But look out! <laughs> Gramps, just keep going. We'll catch up. Oh, I bent my leg! Uh, what are you doing here? Same as you, Lydia. Just go home. That pizza's ours! That pizza's mine! In your tiny mosquito dreams! <laughs> uh. <laughs> what you gonna do now, fish bait? Pizza! God <laughs> kill her! I'm coming, Zach! I'm coming, Zach! Ah! Your foot's in my eye stalk! <laughs> I need more space! I can't move! <laughs> uh, ho hold on! I got an idea! Uh, uh, uh. Now, Sid! <laughs> yes! Finally! Woo! Less cheer, more speed! <laughs> uh, <coughs> um, oh, oh. Pizza! Oh, 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 wait. Why has this word entered my consciousness? Oh, it matters not. Even a kung fu master needs his cheese after it. Ah, can't forget my flag. Oh, <laughs> a feeble hole in the ground to fool me. Ah! <sighs> like this, for example. <laughs> Get going! Chowser, help me! I'm stuck! Mm -hmm. Later, sucker! Okay, who's first? <laughs> <laughs> Eeny, meeny, uh, uh, miny. Mo! Mantisaki! It's you! Oh, we're tangled bats, Sensei. Help us! Ah, disciple. Your training evolves yet again with a new lesson. New lesson? He who has arms and legs free gets the pizza. <laughs> Adios. What? The, that's a terrible lesson. I am at one with the pizza verse. Huh. And how does everyone know what pizza is? Senses tell me Nirvana awaits in a cardboard box. Come on, please let there be double cheese in that box. Mozzarella. Uh, so close, I can taste it. When I say break.
Break! Break hard! What? What are you talking about? Break! <laughs> Either you nut bag. Oh yeah. <sighs> the pizza! It's ours! Whose idea was this? Ah, there. That should be good now. Give her a try. <gasps> you never said it was this big. Well, oh, right. I was thinking like a normal-sized guy, not like a bug. You thinking what I'm thinking? Hey, you lucky bugs! Get your family, get your friends! It's party time in Pizzaville! Ooh. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> yeah. awesome. Hi, Mom. Thanks again for the pizza. It was amazing. We even ended up having some friends over. Who knew that something so simple and delicious could bring so many together? Oh, by the way, Gramps says next time you order, get one with anchovies. Love you, Zach. Uh, what is taking him so long? Gramps is probably boring Willow to death with stories about the fascinating powers of ants. Commonly known as nature's strong man. And let's not forget about their unparalleled architectural genius. Gramps, there it is! Yes, it's one of the Shrinkinator's missing gears. We've hit pay dirt. You sure that's a good idea? I know exactly what I'm doing. Told you! I'm modestest. Oh, I'm sorry, but who bravely rescued the missing gear and Gramps at the same time? Was it Zach? Don't think so. Who bravely busted us both out of that crumbling cave? Begin to the Z? Nope. Just call me Willow! Willow! Squirming in the clutches of a hungry magpie. Our Willow the Brave looks more like Willow the Worm. Her predicament is most delicious. Ah, uh, where am I? Wow, all this shiny stuff. If I didn't know any better, I'd think I was in Grandpa's pocket. See how high up I am. Really, really high up. No! Why doesn't she just fly out? Yeah, maybe she's being eaten. Maybe she's being digested. Maybe she's being. Mm. All right, stop. If anyone can hold their own in a fight, it's Willow. Any minute now, that magpie is going to fly away, calling for mercy. See, what did I tell you? Okay, we need to get up there before it comes back. When you say we, you mean me, don't you? Oh, and my personal goal for today was to not get you. And my personal goal for today was to babysit an old man. Mission accomplished. Hey, she better be up here, or I'm gonna be beat. Willow, you're all right! Impressed by my manly heroism? <laughs> Look, thanks for visiting. 
morning, but go on without me. I'm enjoying the view. I, I can see your house from here. Really? Because I can see your trembling hands from here. <laughs> well, I can smell your sticky armpits from here. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, well uh, I can... Guys, can we do this later? Uh, you go on ahead. I'll just start a new life up here. Maybe open a deli. Whatever that is. Wait a minute. What's going on? Are you afraid of heights? Willow the Brave? <laughs> and you were just bragging I'm not afraid of heights! I'm afraid of really, really high heights! And I can't fly. <laughs> oh man, this is funnier than the time you tried to ask a stick for direction! It was a sick bug! He just wasn't very talkative. Yeah, because he had all of those leaves growing out of his mouth. <laughs> Willow the Brave can't fly! Willow the Brave can kick your butt if you don't clamp it. Hey guys, look what I found. Uh, keep pacing like that. You'll end up in China, and I won't come get you. That magpie will be back soon. What's taking them so long? Ugh, looks like this baby's stuck. Come on, Will. There's nothing to be afraid of. There isn't? Did you know there's less oxygen at higher altitudes? <gasps> But I need that to breathe. Exactly. And it's like a million foot drop. And once you fall, that's it. You just go faster and faster and faster until ah! you hit like a watermelon. A watermelon? Yeah. That's the messiest melon. I know. Ah! I need to break up the freak out fest, you guys. But can you give me a hand with this thing, guys? <laughs> oh, not you two. Got a plan, Stan? Yes, gonna do some reconnaissance. Sid, whip me up some slime. Huh? Slime, I need slime. And hurry, there's not a moment to lose. Uh, uh, okay, uh, but, but, but you need to turn around, you know? I, 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 I can't go when someone's watching. Turn around. <laughs> Excellent. <sighs> I told my mom I'd make her proud someday. This slime should have enough surface tension to form a serviceably convex lens. And voila! A slimoscope! Shakespeare's got nothing on you. Uh-oh, the magpie's returning. Oh. <sighs> uh, this gear's not going anywhere. Sheesh, look at all this junk. Ah, hey, guys, get over here. I think I found a way down. Uh, we're not flying down, are we? I'm not gonna fly down. Are you gonna fly down? Relax, guys. No one needs to fly down. We're gonna climb down. Now, come on, before you know who comes back. <laughs> So, uh, what was it we were looking for again? Please say snacks. Anything shiny. There's something to lure that bird away. Keep your eyes peeled. Now you want to peel my eyes? Ugh. No, but I meant one. Ah, Sid, you're brilliant. It doesn't reach. It will once we're all on. I had a big lunch today. Chowser! Possibly look any more ridiculous. Ah, I stand corrected. You coming, feathered freak! It's working! Looks like I owe you five bucks. Whatever they are. Oh, on the count of three.
Chowser. I don't want to be a watermelon! Gonna help me rescue Grandpa. Did someone mention my name? Grandpa! But how? Darn bird had my missing measuring tape. Surprised you didn't think of that, Zack. Try to use the old noggin next time, kid. Whew, but I'm just glad you're okay. Okay? I've never felt better. Yeah, but you sure smell better. So, Willow the Brave. Any other phobias you want to discuss? Don't know what you're talking about. Hey, careful! Don't fly too high! Whatever! Well, at least we got another piece of the Shrinkinator. We're one step closer to getting home, kiddo. Yeah, about that, Gramps. Remember that fishing trip you promised me? Well... Another day, another Shrinkinator part. I gotta say, guys, we've almost got this down to a science. <laughs> if science means humiliating Adila's roaches by riding them like surfboards on her pond. Yeah, and did you see the look on Adila's face when we catapulted that old party balloon full of slime at her pop? Priceless! Oh, that was epic! And hey, what about when Chowser lassoed that squirrel and it chased Adila's whole crew into the next yard? <laughs> yeah, way to go, Chowser! Chowser? Oh, uh, yeah, thanks. Woo. Uh, Chowser, are you okay? <sighs> yeah, uh, I'm just nervous. Oh, everything's gonna be so different. Huh? Wh what do you mean? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Everything will be fine. Fine! <laughs> either really poisonous or really delicious. Let's hope it's the second one. Don't touch my workshop. Oh, well, looks like you'll be back tonight. Hey, you know what that means. Tacos for lunch. Chowser, didn't you hear Zach? Yeah, that's great, guys. Uh, sorry I can't join you. I've really got to be getting ready. Things have to be just right before everything changes. Getting ready? Changing? <gasps> Is he talking about what I think he's talking about? No way. I thought Gramps told us it wasn't possible. What, Chowser skipping lunch? <laughs> no, Chowser, you know, changing. We should go check on him. Check on him changing? Doesn't even wear clothes. What? <gasps> oh, changing. Well, that didn't take long. Looks like our heroes have arrived just in time for Chowser's re-birthday party. And what it lacks in presents and party hats, it more than makes up for in giant, pulsating, pooper sacks of mystery. And what will pop out? That would ruin the surprise. <laughs> Look 
like himself. Is that normal? Well, sure sounds like himself. Yep, that's Chowser, all right. Congratulations! Chowser, we're so happy for you. Uh, Chowser? Hey, Chowser! Alright, Chowser, how about we go outside and race? You know, test those new wings out. <laughs> uh, Chowser? Why don't... Will you stop calling me Chowser? Uh, okay. What do you want us to call you? Your Highness. Yeah, your Highness. I like the sound of that. What? <laughs> now, wait just a <laughs> minute. No! Well, who's he think he is? This is bound to be a giant adjustment for him. He'll settle back to his old self in no time. You'll see. He needs our support, no matter what. No matter what. Fine. Hey, fly girl, rub my feet. <laughs> now, you, Robo Arm, make me some lunch. Sure thing, buddy. And you, slide bag, clean my wings. Why, you want to die? I said. Clean my wings. Uh, here's your lunch. Forget your lunch. What's for dinner? I want it now. Uh, we were planning on a. I want a mushroom souffle with an aged milkweed base. Pronto, beyond. Okay. I know he's been through a lot, and we have to be understanding, but come on! Yeah, I am this close to telling him off. I know, guys, I know! He's really ticking me off, too. But just a little longer, until he settles in. He's a friend, we can't abandon him now. No, but can we tie him up and toss him in a mason jar until he settles down? No! Let's just get what we need for dinner and try to get through tonight, okay? So, uh, have we totally given up on the tossing him in a jar idea? Because I thought that was, uh, uh, very Im Im immature. Oh, Chowser better appreciate this. Milkweed makes my hands all stick. Ah, what was that? Oh, what's with all the noise? What is going on? Uh, oh, the insectables! Thank goodness you're here! Me and my friends were heading back home when this giant yellow thing came out of nowhere! They got trapped underneath! Oh, it's heavy and delicious! The neighbor kid must have thrown it over. Probably wanted his mom to think he ate it. Let's go, team! <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Uh, okay, Willow, you get to work drilling this thing into smaller pieces. Sid, we need you to pull away the sections. Chowser, you pull the end. Excuse me? You're giving me orders? No, not orders. I'm you coordinating to write a... orders to me. Oh, we don't have time for this. Either help us or leave. <laughs> See you around, Lame Brains. Why, you? Uh... Ah. Chowser's uh, emotional state and uh... give him a piece of our minds. He can boss us around, but a dangerous innocent book. Chowser! Ah! Huh? What? Where's all the snacks? I've looked everywhere. That's it, Chowser. Where's that name again? Stop interrupting me. We want the old you back. The old me? <laughs> like you even knew the old me. Well, this is the new me! Okay, that's it, pal. Either shape up or... or... 
off the team. Come again. You're kicking me off the team. Ha! I'm kicking you off the team. Get out! comes a pair now. Ta, 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 ta. Oh no, Grant! Oh, we have to clean this place up. Ah, it's good to be home. Huh. Why do I have some crazy dandelion stories? Anything change while I was gone? Uh, nope, not a thing. I may be president of the world, but what I really want to be president of is this family. I love you, Dad. I love you, Courtney. Caitlin. Caitlin. <laughs> that was so beautiful. I need to call my mom and tell her I love her. Oh, wait. She doesn't have a phone! <laughs> Jack, are you crying? What? No, I just got something in my eye. <laughs> oh, I love you, Zach. I love you, Gramps. And that's my cue. Good night, everyone. Try not to flood the shed with your tears. Don't you have a heart? Don't you have any taste? That movie's awful. There's plot holes big enough to drive Chowser through. It's okay, Sid. Maybe one day. Maybe one day we'll watch a movie that doesn't make me want to stuff cabbage in my eye sockets. Was that the door? Who'd be visiting at this hour? Only one way to find out. Dry your eyes, everyone. Battle face. <laughs> Oh, perfect. <laughs> Babies on the doorstep? Our heroes have taken on challenges to harrowing to mention. Yet there's one even they haven't conquered. Babysitting! <laughs> Will they be able to navigate the pernicious perils of Parenthood? Or will their daycare turn into a day can't? <laughs> a basket of babies? Is this a joke? Who would just leave babies here with us? What are we supposed to do with them? Aw, they're so cute. And they're twins. What? How can you tell? All ants look alike. Don't ever let an ant hear you say that. They must have been dropped off by their mom or dad. Question is, <laughs> why? 
Well, quick! We gotta track down whoever left them. You'll never find them in the dark. They're long gone. You can take the babies back to the ant village first thing tomorrow and get some answers. Great. Now that that's settled, can we go get some sleep? Yeah, all right. No, wait, stop, stop, no, no, oh, no, I'd no. recognize a cry like that anywhere. These little guys are hungry. Hungry? This sounds like a job for Chowder! Maybe they'll like something from my secret stash of nocturnal nibbles. <laughs> Whoa, how much more does it keep under there? It's probably best not to think about it. They... They ate all my food! All of it! It's all gone! Well, the good news is they should settle down now. <laughs> or not. Gramps, we still gotta find that part tomorrow. Are these guys gonna be a problem for us? Oh, no, no, no! Unless they don't settle down, then yes. Rambunctious youngsters can be pretty all-consuming if raising your father was anything to go by. Well, then how do we... Ah, get it off, get it off, get it off! Ah, oh, my eye! No, 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 no! back to bed. Oh, no, you don't, Sid. Watch these two. We have to clean up this mess. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, no, me, no. Ah, don't worry, Sid. I've got just the thing to keep their minds off you. No ant baby can resist a skillfully made rattle. It's a scientific fact. A few shakes of this guy and you'll have two very, very relaxed baby ants on your hands. <laughs> from them. Worst invention ever. Oh, finish. <laughs> oh. Is that a crib or a cage? Hmm, not cute enough. No, plenty cute. Just shove those monsters in it and haul them out of here. And now that they're sleeping, you shouldn't have any problems. Good luck. I think I'll hit the hay. Okay, now what? Willow, you and Chowser drag him to bed. And get yourselves there, too. Sid and I will get the babies to the village. Wait, what? Why do I have to go? You're the only one who can pull the crib. The babies are asleep. They won't give you any trouble. They better not, kid. I know where you sleep. I better get a date out of this. <laughs> Get him back? What, we train him as a henchman for Adilla? Yeah, you should be proud. Ant babies make great henchmen. They grow so fast and are good at learning. 
like us. <laughs> yeah, we've got an IQ of almost 100. Yeah, combined. Lo, put the baby in with the others. Sid, whatever you do, don't let them get the babies. So, run away. I think I can handle that. Hands off those ant babies! Huh? <gasps> Step away from the babies and leave. <laughs> Look, Lo, more babies. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> Huh? Hey, where you going? Come back here! <laughs> You're not going anywhere. You want some of this? Dark matter? I don't know what that is, but it must be packed with vitamins. How can I ever repay you? Uh, just keep that rattle far away from us. You okay. got it. <laughs> oh, boy. If I never see a baby again, it'll be too soon. <sighs> yeah. Uh, Sid? It's just they, they weren't that bad. Ah, so you do have a heart after all. What? No, ew, of course not. Uh, uh. Ah, ah, the old hum of the oscillatron. I'm that much closer to getting the shrinkinator up and running again. All right, team, no sudden movements. The slightest jolt will throw off the calibration, and I'll have to start over again. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, Gramps. Well, guys, can I? Chowser, I think we should plant it. Aw, but I want to eat it now! Zack! Sorry, Chows, I'm with Willow. I don't want to be anywhere near you after you eat a giant bean. Thanks, I didn't want to say it. Guys, you're making my tummy really sad! <sighs> what is that? Everyone, go find out what's doing that and get it to stop! The Oscillatron can't take much more of this! Okay, come on, let's go, guys! Ow! I hate Mondays. A giant worm? Oh, this might be too much for even our brave insectables. It'll be fun to watch them bite off more than they can chew. <laughs> I 
Zack, if my hunch is correct, it's not a matter of if he'll be back, but when. You're talking like you know this worm. Mm, a worm with a metal jaw. Call me crazy, but did you have anything to do with that? <sighs> yes, I did. It was years ago. I had just started to construct a shrinkinator when I found a worm. It had injured its jaw on the shed's concrete base, so I did my best to fix it. Wait, a worm was trying to eat through your concrete floor, so you thought it would be a good idea to give him a metal jaw? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Ridiculous. I was thinking helpful, but you may have a point. I guess the worm didn't like his upgrades, and now he's got it in for me. But why now? That's what I can't figure out. Uh, but it doesn't matter. He's coming for us, and we have to be prepared. Uh, with hairpins? Ah, uh, one man's hairpin is another man's customized sonic steak. You guys will plant a line of these in the ground in front of the shed. They'll emit a sonic pulse that should drive the worm away. Uh, like an invisible dog fence. If your dog was, you know, a worm. Yeah, but listen closely. They have to stay upright in order for the pulse to flow correctly. If any of them get knocked over... Yeah, yeah, we got it. Make a perimeter. Keep them straight, save your life. Just another day in the sandbox. There's no way a worm's getting through this. Okay, now what? <laughs> Lunch? No. You heard Gramps. We have to make sure these steaks all stay upright. Can't we do that while eating? All right, flux capacitor activated. Nah, should do it. So the stick bug says, I don't care if you waxed it. That's not my leg. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's funny. Wait a minute. You hear something? No. Do you feel something? Yeah, you're imagining things. Okay, okay, I got one. Knock, knock. What? No! That's always something. <sighs> what was that? I thought I saw something. Yeah, look, kid, we've been busting hump all morning. Just relax, let us enjoy our day. Well, now that you mention it, those stakes would make some excellent goalposts. Huh? Zack races the ball down the field as he looks for an opening. Will he find one? Uh, are we supposed to be doing something? Uh, yeah, playing defense. Right, got it. What's defense? This is how humans spend their free time? <sighs> Can we get back to eating now? First, I need you to go stand between those two stakes. Come on, this will only take a minute. Ugh, what I wouldn't give for a one-inch tall hardware store. Oh well, at least I know the team is out there to do the standing guard. Uh, I'm having second thoughts about this. Chowser, if you block this shot, desserts on me. Oops. Okay, let's see if that did it.
We can't! Let it get inside! Ah, I was so close to calibration! Okay, uh, plan B, everyone, I need your help! Oh, boy. Never thought I'd be playing tug of war with a worm! We're not playing, we're losing! You go on ahead. I'll just uh, catch up with you later then. <gasps> what happened to the sonic barrier? Well, Zach was showing me how to be a goalie and... Ahem. You were playing soccer? Uh, can we talk about this later? <laughs> <laughs> about your choice in upgrades! Back! Hey, ow! <laughs> Sorry, bud! So, uh, what I'd miss? Bolivian vibe worm. Certain frequencies act like catnip to them. They just want to keep eating. Now to just test my hypothesis. Ah, I was right. Gramps, is that you? I remember you being taller. That's the Alfonso I remember. Glad to have you back, old friend. I'm sorry about the oscillatron making you go crazy. Here, I'll readjust the frequency right now. How do you feel? Oh, fine. God, turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! Too late. So, Alfonso, now that you're not trying to kill us, how about joining us for dinner? After a whole day of eating concrete? Oh, thanks, but I'm not very hungry. Please don't ever let me say that. Well, it's taken a while, but team, it's finally finished. What? <laughs> I can't believe it! Really? really? No way! Finished? Wait, the Shrinkinator's finished? You mean I could go back to regular size? I could go home? What? No! I was talking about my grease rag. It's finished. <sighs> Your delivery could use some more gramps. Sorry, uh, but the good news is we're almost there. Just a few more parts to go. I know, gramps. We'll get there. Just watch out for the tarantula with lawnmower blades for feet. He's got it in for me. A what? <laughs> Kidding! <laughs> Actually, not kidding. You broke your record, Sid! Wow! Not going far, Hunter! They do! It's too dangerous! I gotta do this for me! Oh, that's insane! Collision. It's
it's not a pretty word, but it is worth 13 points in Scrabble. <laughs> Imagine snail shell bits everywhere. Splatter art. Pavement pizza! <laughs> Am I the only one getting hungry? <laughs> Uh, do you think he's all right? How's about I shoot you into a wall and then ask you the same question? Yeah, he's fine. So, did I hit 100? The needle says no. I'm really sorry about that, Sid. Oh, I was almost done, though. Don't ever make me the victim of your stupid chance. <laughs> Bowser didn't do that on purpose, Sid. It was a total accident. Honest. Hey, Sid, it's for you. And I should cheer you up. It's an invitation to a reunion. Listen, it's time for the three hombres to buddy up again. Cool! No, interesting. No, seriously, the three hombres? Childhood chums, Charlie, Fast Eddie, and me. Every year they get together. Every year I decline. Is that why you've been so stressed all week? Mm, it's complicated. Dude, you should totally go! A chance to unwind a few days, hang out with your homies. Not going. Maybe they used to make you feel bad, but remember, that was the old you. I mean, time to show them the amazing, heroic Sid we know and love. Show them the new Sid 2.0. You'll feel a million times better. And I'll even go with you for moral support. Yeah, Sid, go! Yeah, do it! Yeah, Sid! Fine, just cork your cake holes, kitties. You win. Oh. Hey, Charlie, you think Sid'll show? <laughs> that big weenie? <laughs> well, I wish he was coming. Why do we have this? None of us can hold a dart. That's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of jokes, look who it is. Sid! Hey, Sid, old buddy, how you been? Uh, adequate. <laughs> Funny as ever. You kill me, Sid. Hey, did you know he was a kidder kid? Oh, yeah! Life of the party! Watch! Huh? Huh? I'm gonna go wash up. Okay, so there are a couple of jokers, but they're glad to see them. Oh yeah, hearts of gold, hard and yellow. They're only glad I'm here to pick on, just like old. Oh! 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 <laughs> Sugar? Oh, you're hilarious, Sid. Now that's crossing the line, you guys. Fake salt. You almost gave him a heart attack. Lighten up, Captain Bring Down. Sid loves this stuff. <laughs> hey, you okay? You serious? Look, this is your chance to sort these guys out. <gasps> hey, you want to prank them good? Show them who's top snail around here? Eh, I may regret this in my memoir, but uh, <laughs> I'll bite. What's your plan? Three words, Sid. Buy on X. Okay, guys. The first one to reach the laundry line and come back wins. Okay, okay, now let me get this straight. If Sid here wins this race, then me and Eddie got to... Uh, Apologize to him? <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait! What does Charlie get if Sid loses? <laughs> yeah, what about me, huh? What does Charlie get? Uh, if you win, 
You get, uh, me. Yeah, I'll be your slave for a week. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Someone new to torment? <laughs> Delio! <laughs> Putty in our hands. Just do not let them see the wheels. You clean his clock and the last lap is ours. So listen up, racers. To follow the track, no shortcuts. Whoever crosses the finish line first wins. <laughs> Get ready to put on your little maid outfit, kid. I'll need my shell polished after this dusty race. In your dreams, slime butt. Okay, on your mark. Get set. And since I can't hold a starting pistol, bang!
this time, right? Well, let's just say I'll think about it. <laughs> Don't think too hard. You'll break your tuckus. Tuckus. <laughs> oh, I see you, buddy. <laughs> see you, guys. I'm proud of you, Sid. You finally showed those guys what you're made of. Well, thanks, but uh, I gotta admit, buddy, for me, it's kind of bittersweet. Bittersweet? Why? <laughs> now I don't know when I'll ever get to see you in that maid's outfit. Whoa! This is our secret, Sid. So the mushroom says, why not? I'm a fun guy! <laughs> get it? Fun guy? <laughs> huh? Huh? Get it? Because he's a mushroom! <sighs> Chaucer, you told us that joke yesterday. Uh, morning, guys. <sighs> uh, what's for breakfast? Zach, are you okay? Yeah, yeah of course I am. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Hey, Zach, no! Stay away from them! You're contagious! What? Ah! Oh, oh, gross, 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 gross! Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> what's wrong with me? Oh, it looks like you and I have both come down with a nasty case of Tanagran flu. It will be okay, but I can't say the same for any insects. What? Ooh. Oh, and mollusks. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. What do we do? What do we do? Yeah, we have to leave right now and find some Tanagran root. It's our only chance at a cure. Yeah, uh, you better go out and start the search. Like, right now. Yeah, buddy, and I'll take your time out there. Oh, yeah, good, good luck, guys. <laughs> Feel better. <laughs> Bye. We're all goners! Hmm. Zack and Gramps, carriers of a contagion? I'd hate to see their friends fall victim to their human bone plague. <laughs> Gramps, how much time do we have left? We've been walking for hours and there's still no sign of that route. Uh, actually, it's been eight minutes. <sighs> Just be straight with me, Gramps. I can take it. <laughs> Don't worry, Zach. I've found the cure. <gasps> you have? Yes. Voila, you're cured. <laughs> and that's great. You've... Wait a minute. Is this ketchup? Cramps, what is going on? Oh, <laughs> you got me. We don't have Tanagran flu, Zach. I made it up. I painted spots on you while you were sleeping. What? Why? Because it was hilarious. And, and well, I just realized that ever since you shrunk down, we've barely spent any time together. Just you and I. And that's what this summer was supposed to be about. Oh, Gramps, it's okay. We've had our hands full saving the world from Adilla. And feeding Chowser. I know, but but also there's there's something I, I, I want to... Uh... Something you want to what? Uh, uh, huh? First things first. Eh, uh, we've got plenty of time. Gramps, what are you doing? What every grandfather should be doing with his grandson. Camping! Oh, camping? Cool! Oh, roasting marshmallows, telling ghost stories. I love camping. <laughs> so where's the tent? A tent? My dear boy. Ta-da! We're gonna make the greatest, most advanced camping compound this yard has ever seen. Oh, so you wanna take everything fun and relaxing about camping and replace it with work. Fun work! Uh-huh. What are those two hairless apes up to now? Those look like plants. But plants for what? Hmm. I need high and low. <laughs> We're right here, ma'am. How long have you two been standing there? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, it's two o'clock now, and I was born on a Tuesday, so uh, one and one is eleven. Oh, and, uh... never mind. Get out there and find out what the humans are scheming. But don't do anything else yet. Then I'll make a plan. I'm not letting you mess it up like always. Always? That's a bit harsh. Mm, no, she's right. Just get going! <laughs> okay. Uh. Oops. Wrong way! <laughs> <sighs> Don't chicken out, old man. He needs to know. You have to tell him. You can do it. Hey, Zach! Let's, uh, let's have a chat. 
So how's uh, school? Well, once I go back, I'm pretty sure I have a lock on winning best what I did on my summer vacation essay. Oh, yes. Your dad always knocked those out of the park. And, uh, well, speaking of your dad... My dad? What about him? Uh, yes, um, you see... Uh... Now, what am I saying? We have a shelter to build. Uh, we'll need some timbers. Uh, Gramps, my dad, what were you... <sighs> what? Oh, great. Now of all times... No, I'm not letting those clowns ruin this. Uh... What's that, Gramps? You say that there's an important Shrinkinator part buried underneath the dung beetle's dung heap? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> You're thinking how oh, your head's gonna explode? <laughs> yeah. I didn't say anything about a Shrinkinator part. Uh, neither did I. So, what were you saying about my dad? It's, uh, well, uh, here, help me with the media room. Media room? No time for chit-chat. Uh. <laughs> There's no shrinkinator pot in here. Hey, Lo, did you find anything? Uh, mm, just some digested chestnuts. <clears throat> yeah, maybe we didn't hear them right. We should head back and listen closer. Uh, careful! That rod needs to be sticking straight up if we're going to get a good angle for the solar panel. How are we going to make a solar panel? Uh, hmm. We'll need to fashion an alloy out of amber Gramp. and mushrooms. Assuming I can piggyback a signal off the Delta Band and shunt the Gramp or some whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, uh, I knew <gasps> air conditioning was a long shot anyway. Gramp! Yeah, we really are roughing it, aren't we? <laughs> it reminds me of the time your dad and I built a bike-powered ceiling fan. Yeah, about my dad. You were starting to tell me something? Uh, well, Zach... <laughs> what is that smell? <laughs> Strange. A uh, uh, muscle flexing tournament happening right now in the tree snot hole? Oh, you don't say. Muscle flexing tournament? Yeah, we are so there. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, muscle... What? Zach, are you feeling all right? I'm fine, Gramps. Now, about my dad. Dad, I know what'll make you feel better. Relaxing in a pair of Adirondack-style easy chairs. <laughs> Get that first place trophy ready. <laughs> We're here for the flexing tournament. Yeah, yeah, check this out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Through that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, where is everybody? Oh, there, in the shadows. Uh, wait a minute. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Bounce, oh, big. Bounce, yeah, bounce, yeah, bounce. Look, bounce. I'm looking at Pluto. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what you pack Taurus? Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> retreat, retreat. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. That wasn't a flexing tournament. That was a trap. Ha! I knew that spider was too spindly to flex. What's wrong, kiddo? Your, your mind's somewhere else. It was the roaches. What do you mean? They've been spying on us. I was trying to get rid of them so they didn't ruin your camping trip. Zack, that's so... so thoughtful. Really? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, too, Zack. Uh, I've been wanting to tell you something for a while now, but, well, uh, you see, your father... <laughs> Let me guess. I'll take care of it. No, we'll take care of it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Look, yeah, we scared them off. <laughs> ha, those frady cats. Hey, look, an unassembled pair of Adirondack easy chairs. Who goes Ooh. there? You dare trespass on my domain? What gives you the right? Ha, a monster! <laughs> <laughs> 
we're, we're sorry, sir. Uh, you know, we were, we were looking for the humans, you know. Hey, you're small, squishy. Uh, one of them has a big eyebrow under his nose. <laughs> yeah, look Silence! At <gasps> I have dealt with the humans, and now I will deal with you. Ah, <laughs> 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 that was great! Oh, I can't believe that worked. Really? Well, okay, yeah, I'm actually not surprised, but still, that was awesome! I was just gonna do some bionic action moves and shoot my bolo, but hey, we're roughing it! Right! Sometimes going back to basics is just the ticket. We're camping! We should be having fun! Especially when dealing with the dealer's coons. Yeah, thanks, Gramps. This is fun, even if our vacation home didn't turn out exactly as planned. Hey, Zach, give me your arm. What the? Uh, how did you do that? <sighs> I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve, boy. Well, your sleeve. This is all we need. That and some marshmallows. One thing at a time. Uh, reminds me of when your dad and I would do this. You look like him, you know? Really? Spitting image. <sighs> He was about your age when he started helping me build the Shrinkinator. Wait, what? My dad helped build the Shrinkinator? Ramp! Good night, Gramps. Onward, Sid, to glory! Oh, man, we should have built one of these a long time ago. Faster, Sid. Yeah, faster. Who are you talking to? There isn't a creature in the yard that can outrun me. I'm the epitome of poise, of grace, <laughs> of skillful. <laughs> 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 Functioning mollusk, his fallen friends, and an unwieldy part? The insectables seem to have found themselves in a tight spot. <laughs> and if they get squeezed any tighter, their delicious terror might just ooze out. <laughs> Hurry, Gramps. We need to get back to Zack and Chowser. There's silly ducks out there with that heavy part, especially if the roaches show up. Whoa, careful there, Gramps. These wheels are delicate instruments. Delicate instruments that went kablooey at the worst possible time. Face it, Wills. You need my macho muscles to drag that thing back here. In your dreams. Oh, and you're welcome for getting you back safely. So what's up, Gramps? Is he fit for service or what? Not sure. It would help if I knew what the problem was. Ah, Gramps! Whoa, sorry, Gramps. That wasn't me. Understood, Sid, but I hereby remove you from the field. No missions until I figure out what's going on. Re removed from the field? That almost sounds like a vacation. <laughs> Somebody give me a drink with a tiny umbrella in it and some munchies. Uh, unsalted. <sighs> I'm off, Gramps. We'll get that big beast back here somehow. Good. And don't worry about Sid. He's in good hands. Hey, Willow, on the way back, pick me up some bronzer. I've got a tan to work on. <sighs> it's not easy being a hero. <sighs> Whatever. Did I ever tell you about the time I had to fake my own death? <laughs> Here's a tip, Gramps. Never try taking more than two girls to the prop. Did I ever tell you about the other time I, I wore this uh, mustache for a week? <laughs> the ladies oh love the stash. I don't like being pinned down here out in the open. We'll be fine. <sighs> a little help here? Don't get me wrong. I love honey like my own reflection. The no, route's I'm not just a What do we do? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Dylan needs to get the bee working on the low-carb version or something. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we 
hope you don't want any trouble. Just keep moving. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? Uh, I would, yes. Hey, is that a shrink in either part? No. Yes. I mean, no. <laughs> so we're going to get the insectables and the shrink in either part today. <laughs> it's like a one for two. I, I mean, the, the two for one, carry the six. Uh... More like a none for none. Huh? Those are your last words, puny? <sighs> No imagination. Maybe a good clobbering will help. Not if I can help it. Willow! But, but we're Sid! Working on his tan. Now back off, bozos. We're taking up part and we're leaving. And nothing's gonna be <laughs> in our lap. <laughs> 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 can't fly in a straight line, and Willow keeps shooting underground! <laughs> Grams, we need to talk. Hey, Willow, what's up? Uh, don't worry, I found the problem. It's aliens, isn't it? I knew it! I don't want to be dissected! Uh, no, it's the chips that run your bionics. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I have chips inside me? <laughs> Break out the salsa. That's what's malfunctioning. I uh, sort of bought them on sale from the internet. Wait, do you know how to use the internet? <laughs> I've been shopping online since before you were born. I've bought all sorts of things. A solar-powered flashlight. Dehydrated water, a flecked fork, a self-propelled mohawk. <laughs> I was uh, going through a phase. Uh, that's great, Gramps. Uh, but what about our? Ah, uh, your chips were a great deal. But don't worry, I only use the highest quality parts. <sighs> Explodo brand. You installed us with Explodo brand controller chips? I don't know much about computers, but that doesn't sound good. Relax, gang. These chips work every bit as well as regular chips if you just zap their PRAM within the first year. And if you don't? Uh, well, uh, according to this, they uh, sort of explode. Explode? Yep. Way to allay our fears, Gramps. Uh, but like I said, only if you don't zap the PRAM. We should have plenty of time for that. Thank you for using Explode O brand controller chips. Your chip will terminate in four minutes. What? Four minutes? I can't explode, Gramps. I have a date tonight. I don't want to terminate! Gramps, how could you? We're all going to explode just so you can save a few bucks. We can be mad at Gramps later. Right now, he has to reset our chips. Uh, yes, I just need to consult the manual. Termination in three minutes. Well, well, then here's an idea, Gramps. Consult the manual. I'd love to, but it's up there. Of course it is. Oh, no. How do we reach it? Leave that to me. Not quite what 
You just need to find the booklet that says manual. Oh, wait. I can't read! Termination in 30 seconds. <laughs> then just toss everything out. We'll find it down here. 20 seconds remain. <laughs> Look out! Hurry! Oh, a 20% off coupon for Meatloaf House. Uh, hold on to that one. Rip! Ten. Now! Nine. Eight. Oh, got it! Everyone, Seven. light up! Six. Five. Hurry up, hurry up! Three. Two. One. Termination. Cancel. Termination. Cancel. Termination. Cancel. Oh, what a relief. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Oh. oh, that was close. Oh no! Chowser! He's gonna blow! I'm sorry, Chowser! <laughs> 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 got all of your chips from the same three-for-one sale. Wait, three-for-one? But there's four of us. One, two, three, four. Ah, you're right! Of course! I forgot! Chowser's blades use a completely different controller chip. He was never in any danger of exploding. But then why were his blades malfunctioning? Uh, hold on. Chowser, remember when I had snail flu? The flu that affects only snails, and you thought you had it too? Ooh, and the day my voice started to change, and you started talking in baritone. Hmm. I guess my brain kind of just really wanted to fit in this time too. Aw, oh, that's sweet, actually. Weird, but sweet. I'm sorry, guys. It's okay, buddy. We're just glad you're in one piece. And now that we're all working again, we've got some unfinished business to take care of. Yeah, the roaches probably aren't even halfway through the yard yet. Let's go get that part back. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> On second thought, this is still a sick day for me. Let them handle it. Hey, Gramps, where's that, uh, that, uh, umbrella drink? Yeah, don't forget the munchies. 